Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm BraveX Hero, and today we're going to be talking about a weapon that deals massive amounts of DPS, and everybody needs to get their hands on it. Better yet, this weapon's so easy to get, I was able to get my god roll in less than a minute. And not only that, this weapon is craftable, making it even easier for you to get a god roll. So in today's video, we'll be talking about how to acquire this weapon, what are the best perks on this weapon, and why is it so good for PvE. But before we do, if you're enjoying the videos, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. Majority of you are brand new to the channel and are finding me for the first time. And do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button because I cover everything Destiny 2 related, from PvE to PvP. Now let's talk about today's weapon. Today's weapon is the Taipan 4FR. This is a void linear fusion rifle and guys, linear fusion rifles in the current meta are deadly, regardless of the activity you're going into legend lost sectors or trying to defeat oryx as someone who's been doing more end game activities i highly recommend that you have an element for each activity if the legend lost sector calls for arc damage you won't be scrambling around looking for the proper element you'll have the tarantula now if it calls for void damage you'll have the taipan 4fr now i know there's a lot of you out there who have that god roll reads regret shoot i have that god roll but hear me out the last thing you want is to only have one linear rifle. I know because that was me a few seasons ago. I only had one linear rifle. When I went to go farm Legend Lost Sectors, I was using blue weapons because I didn't have a god roll linear rifle that matched the element I needed. Now to unlock this weapon for crafting, you need to get two red border boxes of the Taipan 4FR. By completing those, this unlocks the frame, thus allowing you to craft this weapon with enhanced perks even better am i right now here's the shortcut on crafting this weapon because you can easily do it head over to the enclave and you're going to receive a quest this quest is going to give you an auto rifle you just have to complete this auto rifle pull the deep sight resonance from it and now you'll get another quest which is going to give you a red border frame of the taipan 4fr now here's the cool part by completing the first red border frame of the taipan 4fr you get this will now give you another red border frame of this weapon thus unlocking the pattern for you and allowing you to craft this weapon didn't i tell you it was easy to craft this weapon and you can get your god roll almost immediately now if you're lazy and you don't want to go through the quest steps to get this weapon you can easily purchase it at the star chart by going to the second page and purchasing a viced weapon but i highly recommend you just do the quest because this gives you the opportunity to start getting enhanced perks on this weapon now before i go any further in the video i know i'm gonna get comments and a few trolls saying but Brave, I have the Storm Chaser. Why do I need this gun? For starters, the Storm Chaser is an arc weapon, and it's an aggressive three-round burst linear fusion rifle, unlike our Taipan 4FR, which is a precision frame void linear fusion rifle. Now, is the Taipan 4FR better than the Storm Chaser? Well, in some activities, yes. In some activities, you need to deal massive amounts of damage in a short time. In other activities, you need to deal consistent damage, and that's where the Taipan 4FR comes into play. Now, when it comes to choosing a barrel, I have one solid option, and that's going to be Arrowhead Break. Since we're using this weapon to deal massive amounts of DPS, you want to be able to control the recoil of this weapon, and any other barrel will not give it a perfect 99 recoil. But by choosing Arrowhead Break, not only does it give it a 99 recoil direction, but it lowers the bounce intensity to 1. That's insane, guys, especially when it comes to dealing damage on a boss. Now in the next column over, the only solid option is going to be the perk Enhanced Battery. This is going to give it a plus one to its magazine, thus allowing you to deal a little bit more DPS before you have to reload. Now in the next column over, when it comes to crafting this weapon, you have two solid options from either Triple Tap or Clown Cartridge, both of which are great when it comes to dealing DPS. For starters, when it comes to Triple Tap, rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine, which is awesome. It's nice. But Clown Cartridge, reloading this weapon randomly overfills it from reserves, which is a great option as well. Regardless of what you choose, both are great options for end game activities. Now in the final column, you have a lot of different perks that give you bonus damage. I'm going to highly recommend one, and there's a few other options that you might want to try. The one I highly recommend is going to be Firing Line. In majority of activities, you're standing next to teammates and dealing damage. This is going to proc the perk Firing Line. Now when this perk is active, this weapon deals increased precision damage when near two or more allies. It's also getting a range increase to it. For those wondering, Firing Line gives it a 20% precision damage increase. Now the other option is going to be Enhanced Frenzy. 
Guys, when you're in combat for 12 seconds, you get a 15% damage increase, 50 handling, and 50 reload speed, which is great when it comes to dealing DPS. Personally, I prefer firing line since you're gonna benefit from that more, but if you're engaging in solo activities, you're going into Legend Lost Sectors, then you might benefit more from Enhanced Frenzy. This is why I'll be crafting two different rules, one for raid activities and dungeons, the other for solo activities. Lastly, in the final column, it comes with the basic origin trait, Vice Stinger. Hits have a chance to refresh your magazine. Yet another synergistic option for this weapon. Look guys, as someone who has a triple tap firing line reads regret, it is powerful. And this is a weapon that I always take into any end game activity. But now that I have the option to use the Taipei 4FR, it might be time for me to retire the threaded needle. Yes, it does have a damage boosting perk, but yet it doesn't have that synergy from triple tap or clown cartridge, which is necessary when it comes to dealing massive amounts of DPS on any boss. And I've been using it for seasons. So the Taipei 4FR is gonna be my next go-to void linear fusion rifle. The Taipei 4FR is a great gun. And what makes it even more desirable is the fact that you can craft a god roll version for yourself. Now, if you're not looking for a craftable version, you can always just slam a couple Umbro engrams and look for your god roll. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm probably going to be crafting two of these weapons, one for solo activities and one for team activities like raids and dungeons. But aside from that, I hope everyone goes out there and crafts a god roll version of this. I wouldn't be making a video on this gun if I didn't think it was great for PvE. Comment down below on what perks you decide to go with. But other than that, if you're looking for another great weapon to grind for, that video that just popped up on the left side screen, that is a deadly SMG that everyone needs to get. But that video that just popped up on the right, that is a playlist of all my ARC 3.0 builds for this season. Thank you so much for stopping by. Remember, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on all notifications. Other than that, you guys have a good one and I will see you in the next video.